Jesus makes some very bold statements in this gospel passage. He, asks, he says that whoever asks will receive, whoever seeks will find, whoever knocks will have the door opened. And these promises might seem too good to be true. So Jesus reiterated them to us by using examples. He says, would any good earthly father give his children a snake instead of a fish or a scorpion instead of an egg? In other words, when a child asks for something good, would a loving father give them something bad? Of course not. Even though we are all fallen human beings and sinners, we still try to give good things to those whom we love. Those who ask will receive and those who seek will find because God is simply too good not to answer every prayer that he hears. However, oftentimes God doesn't give us the answer that we want. And when this happens, and it will, it's a good test of our spiritual maturity. A person with an immature spirituality might react as if his prayer was never heard at all. He might become angry and resentful at God. Perhaps he will even stop believing in God because he did not get what he wanted exactly when he wanted it. But a more mature spirituality recognizes that God hears and answers every prayer. But that answer can come in three different forms, as St. Augustine taught long ago. If we ask God for something in prayer, he always says one of three things in response. First, he can say, okay, and give us what we ask for. Second, he can simply say no, which means that what we are asking for is not good for us. This too is an answer to prayer, and as every parent knows, sometimes no is the most loving answer. Third, he can say, okay, but not yet. You're not quite ready, and it will be even better in the future. Yes, no, and not yet. These are the three ways that God responds to our petitions. And keeping this in mind can help us to overcome the temptation to be frustrated when God doesn't give us exactly what we want. When life is going smoothly, it's easy to trust in God. But when a crisis hits, when we face an urgent material or emotional or spiritual need, our faith is sometimes put to the test. But these moments are very valuable for our spiritual growth. They give us an opportunity to exercise the virtue of supernatural patience. And when we exercise it, it gets stronger. Natural patience is easier to develop than supernatural patience. Natural patience doesn't require that we trust God. It just requires that we trust ourselves, pushing through something. This means asking God insistently for what we need and letting God choose the right moment to act. We just need to trust him, to trust that he wants what's best for us. And he will act. He has given us undeniable proof in the Eucharist that he will act. Jesus gives us himself at every Mass in order to prove that his generosity has no limits. And so if God chooses not to answer our prayers when or how we want it, we know without a doubt that it is not because he is ignoring us. Rather, it's because in his wisdom and love, he is planning something better than we can ever imagine. 
Jesus knows it's sometimes hard for us to wait, and so he leaves us the Eucharist as a pledge of the goodness yet to come. So today when he comes to us in Holy Communion, let's apologize for the times that we have been impatient with him. And let's promise him that from now on we will keep on asking and seeking and knocking with complete confidence, no matter what the answer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.